Well, the Pirates wrapped up their spring training season at Pirate City today. Grapefruit League action starts tomorrow. The Bucks held their final practice this afternoon at their off-season training facility. Now they will move over. Regular season starts. I just got back from Brainton and had a chance to go one on one with Clint Hurdle, who really believes in this year's team. Our goal still is to be the last team on the field, jumping up and down when the last game's played and the confetti's falling and the music's blaring. If you're not in it for that, I, I don't know why else you're in it. And we feel strongly that, that that's a real opportunity for us this year. Do you think you're closer to that? being the last team on the field? Absolutely. Uh, we went through a period of time, my first two years, where it was hard. We, we put some good things together, and we spiked the interest again, and then we had hard finishes. And I really believe the hard finishes that we had for two consecutive seasons helped us develop another layer of mental toughness, a lo another layer of physical toughness. Brought our attention to the importance of depth throughout the season. A lot of good things happened in 13. A lot of firsts happened in 13 that hadn't happened here in a long time. 14 and 15, we found our way back. We played good baseball, and then things got challenging again. So I thought last year we were able to reframe some things, reignite some things, and that's one of the themes this year is to reignite. Um, and we understand that you know to try and set this thing up to, to play a wild card game, that's 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 too hard. You need to win your division. Uh, you want to win your division, and then from there you want to take it to the end. And, and I do believe that this club is, these guys are talking about it. I see the internal optimism. I even feel it. But do you understand the, the external frustration at all? Well, I mean, do I need to understand it? I think I, I definitely have my finger on the pulse because there's enough people I just run into in my daily activities, whether it be taking my kids to school or going shopping. And there's enough people that we just engage in good conversation um, the, the, that part of it, yeah, I can appreciate it. We got close and then we fell away. And, uh, I think we all felt the sting of it, uh, last year with the, with the movement that we had in the off season, because we went out there, won 82 games and we lost more fans. We lost a million fans in three years. So I understand that. If you want to talk about real numbers, those are real. Um,